All right, Jason Simpson, head coach, uh, UT Martin. Uh, what are your general thoughts on the upcoming season? You know, obviously, this time of year, you're very excited to, uh, you know, get back with, you know, with your staff and with your players and, and get the season going. You know, last year was uh, the first time, uh, you know, in, in over a decade that we have, that we've had a losing OVC record, okay? And so, uh, there's not a day that goes, that doesn't go by that, uh, you know, and I'm responsible for that, that I don't think about that. And, uh, you know, we don't want to let our, let our university, let our community down. I don't want these players down. So, uh, you know, we really have a point to prove this year, and I'm excited to get the 2019 season uh, going. What do you like most about your team this year? You know, it's been, uh, being the head coach of UT Martin for going on my 14th season, it's been, it's been several years since I've been able to uh, bring young men that are, that are the best players in our program, but also the hardest workers. And uh, having TJ, TJ and Jalen, uh, make no mistake about it. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is uh, TJ's team, and that's a very comforting feeling to me. Uh, you know, I have a lot of trust in him. His coaches have tremendous trust with him. It's his time. Not only uh, he's always been a leader, but now he's a starter, and uh, and he's a very good player. Uh, but he's an even better leader. And then, in our opinion, Jalen's the best receiver in this league. Uh, you know, and we hope he has an opportunity to play on Sundays after after the season. So to have our the two hardest workers and the best leaders, one, one vocal, one leads by example, to have them represent our program uh, at media days uh, uh, in their fifth year is something that uh, that our team's going to capitalize on this year. Uh, what's your biggest challenge for your team this year? Uh, a couple of the players alluded to it. I mean, this schedule, it's the toughest uh, schedule in UT Martin history. Uh, two SEC teams, uh, a quality uh, Northwestern State out of Southland and Southern Illinois out of the uh, Missouri Valley. Uh, I mean, that's a great challenge, okay? Uh, so we'll line up and we'll play every week. I think we learned lessons from last year. The challenge will be, you know, handling adversity. You lose two overtime games last year. You, you take the lead against Jacksonville State in the last, you know, and you give up the lead in the last 35 seconds. Uh, but you never know injury-wise, and these players hadn't complained about it, but I know. I know that they lost, you know, five players in the spring, five offensive line during the season, and lost their quarterback. And they still were able to get us to these overtime games and, and then take the lead against quality Jacksonville State game in the last minute of the game. Uh, but we didn't finish them out. And so the, the challenge this year will be able to, whatever adversity we face on the road, during the game, during the week, uh, to be able to line and play and play the best of our ability. And what are your general impressions of the OVC race? You know, every year it's it's a, it's a, it's anybody can beat anybody. It's a very competitive league. Uh, you know, I don't spend a lot of time on the standings, uh, looking at it because you don't know uh, what redshirt freshmen have gotten better, or what guys set out last year, or who got somebody transferred in uh, that you never even heard their name, and they can line up in the league and and make a difference. So uh, I don't put a lot of stock in it. And I spend most of my time and my effort on our football team. Uh, you know, just like every year up until last year, uh, we expect to be in the race uh, at the end of the season. Tell us a little bit about your team's schedule this season. Uh, you know, I alluded to it earlier. Uh, it's tremendously challenging. Uh, but you know what? If we don't win the league and control our own destiny, you'll need those quality uh, opportunities against Northwestern State out of Southland and then the Southern Illinois out of the Missouri Valley. Those can give you an opportunity. If you go back and look, we had five. Uh, there was five different times I think we finished second and third in our league. Uh, but maybe our schedule wasn't – we didn't have a quality out-of-conference win. So we, we tried to schedule, give our kids a chance to – to uh, have the best opportunity at a potentially large bid because our ultimate goal is getting the NCAA playoffs and um, you don't have a, have a chance to make a run at a national championship.